Hey guys, Woody the Unexceptional Gamer, and this is Mail Monday, a weekly series about your questions and my answers to them. Here we go. So while this video is not about the gameplay, I thought I'd make a couple quick notes on it. One, it's COD Ghost. It's next year's Call of Duty, so I got a chance to play it early over in their multi multiplayer uh, exposed you know, event. And um, the other thing is I don't do all that well. There's two reasons. One, there's professionals on the other team, and they're tough to play against. And two, I'm using an Xbox One controller on a PC, so there's no aim assist. It doesn't suck you on target. And apparently I need that more than the pros on the other team, because <laughs> it was a struggle. But but let's get to our question. Caught my best friend in the act with my sister. Dear Woody, let me start off by saying I love your videos. You're super cool and I've been a long time fan of Mail Monday. So about two days ago, my best friend and I were having a video game night at my place. We decided to get some Mountain Dew, so I left, leaving him at my house. My sister just happened to be over that day because she hadn't seen me in a while. Anyways, I was excited to hang out and play games with my best friend of five years, but my mood changed when I walked in with him on top of my sister on my couch. Woody, I don't know what to do. Please help. The core question here is, does he like her? That it's There's a weird thing, and I recognize the double standard, but you almost feel like you know, the girl's not supposed to date anybody. You know, she's not allowed to have a boyfriend. She's not allowed to, you know, kiss a guy. If she does, that's somehow a negative thing, and she needs to do this in secret so that her brother and her parents never find out. And that's a weird thing, right? Because you, you, you know, if your brother hooked up with some girl, you'd probably think, get some, bro. And then your sister hooks up with some guy, and you think, I don't know about that. Is this guy worthy? Am I supposed to beat up this potential boyfriend? Like, all this nonsense, craziness. But if you stop back and think, or stand back and think, you realize that... You know, all these guys who are kissing have had a, a, a girl, you know, go along with them. Most of them anyway. Now, you start to catch up and you're like, you know, the girls go through this same process that guys do. You know, in, in Western cultures, they, they date a couple people. They figure out what they value in, in a mate and figure out, you know, what's important to them. Do they need a funny guy? Do they need a strong guy? Do they need a sense of security? Do they need an income? You know, what is it that they really value in their life partner? And that's what the dating process is all about. You try on a couple people, see if they fit, and eventually you find one that does, if you're lucky. You know, most people do. So um, and, uh, there you have it. Now, your sis your brother, no, I'm sorry, your best friend hooked up with your sister. What next? I, you know, I, I think you need to say either, dude, you know, you, you don't just jump on my, my sister's permanent record like that if, uh, if you don't like her. Or you say, you know... Treat her right. Follow the campground rule. The, the one I always mention on, on Mail Monday, which is you leave the place at least as nice as you found it. That, that's what you do when you go camping, and that's what you do when you go dating. So if, if, if he's going to go hang out with your sister, he needs to make sure that at the end of it, you know, they're still friends. I'm still friends with every ex I've ever... Well, I'll still talk to him, but I'm not on hard feelings with people that I've broken up with. And... Uh, they, he needs to do that too. That needs to be a normal thing. The relationship shouldn't end when the first one cheats. The relationship shouldn't end when, you know, the first one hits or whatever other ridiculous nonsense can happen out there. So, um, so yeah, if he likes her, this isn't a problem at all. It, it, kissing your sister is not an act of violence. It could be an act of love. Getting bitches with hygiene. I'm a typical 16-year-old Australian guy finally getting into the dating scene. I've scouted a potential mate, but being the scholar I am, I've done my research and learned that she really likes guys that smell good. I fulfill the rest of her criteria, but I'd like to seal the deal and I'm not sure what she means by smell. Does this mean hair, breath, general BO? Do I need to start wearing aftershave? Surely there will be other guys in my situation looking for an answer and I therefore demand that this be placed on Mail Monday. All right, you know, <laughs> I have a question that's never been seen on Mail Monday before, but it's a good one, so, so I'll answer it. The, some of the stuff that you're talking about, breath, hair, BO, um, these are baseline requirements. That's not what she's talking about. I think it goes without saying that you're supposed to attend school and not smell like BO. And it goes without saying that you're not supposed to have bad breath. What she's talking about is something over and above that. She's talking about either an aftershave or she's talking about um, you know, some sort of like, I don't know, an Axe body spray or, or something along those lines. Um, it, you have to be careful not to overdo it. Uh, you know, it, it um, 
<laughs> aftershave is not a bad call. Yeah, uh, body spray is not a bad call. But if you're looking to be smelled from a distance as opposed to be smelled on purpose, then you're probably doing it wrong. Uh, what, what you really want to do is have some sort of more subtle thing happening so that, uh, um, you know, the people who are close to you recognize that you smell good. And uh, and it is an attractive thing. Uh, the, the, uh, forgive me for going, you know, full homo on you guys. Wings of Redemption smells good. And it, um, I want to say caught my eye, but I guess I should say caught my nose. Like it, it, uh, you meet the guy and you're like, you know what? This is a good smelling person right here. This is a guy that, uh, you know, that, that, that takes some pride in his hygiene and it shows and it stands out and it does make a lasting impression that, that lasts, you know, <laughs> like a lasting impression. So it's a good idea. I, I, I almost wish that I had a signature smell beyond just like whatever soap I was using at the time. So um, yeah, that's what she's talking about. Best of luck. Hope you seal the deal.